Hi, I'm Ben Namdarian, one of the urologists here at St Vincent's Hospital. The prostate is a, a gland in the male anatomy that sits just below the bladder and urine passes from the bladder through the prostate and then out. The prostate functions uh, to help with um, semen and sperm health in that it secretes various proteins and fluids to sustain those. It's very uncommon to have symptoms in the early stages of prostate cancer. This is because the cancer develops in the back part of the gland and doesn't cause any obstruction or blockages to the flow of urine. It does occur occasionally in about 20% of cases where it is in different parts and you might have some restriction of the urine flow. Often if the cancer has progressed much further, then it's spread to lymph nodes and other parts of the body and you might get some symptoms relating to bone pain or obstruction to lymph drainage and what's called edema or swelling in some other limbs. But this is a very late stage and hence why we ask men to consider screening for prostate cancer early. Risk factors for prostate cancer uh, firstly include your age. As you age, uh, you have a higher risk of developing prostate cancer to the point where that is a one in six in your entire lifetime of being diagnosed with prostate cancer. So one of the highest incidence cancers for men. Other risk factors are uh, ethnicity. So typically uh, men who are of African descent or who perhaps are of Jewish descent have higher rates of prostate cancer. And in fact, men with a of Asian descent uh, have a lower risk of prostate cancer. The one significant risk factor for prostate cancer is a family history of prostate cancer itself or breast cancer. These are the genes BRCA1 and BRCA2 that we particularly look out for. We actively screen these gentlemen family histories for prostate cancer. In screening for prostate cancer, the first tool we use is the PSA blood test. That's the prostate specific antigen and it's one of the proteins which helps support sperm health. It is a value that's present in all men because it's uh, firstly secreted by normal prostate cells, uh, but there are higher levels when uh, prostate cancer is present. Because it's, all, it's secreted in all men, we have to track what it's like and it can be uh, varied related to a patient's prostate size, a patient's age, uh, and if they've had things like an infection or pelvic uh, surgery. So we like to track that over time and if it remains elevated, a urologist would then examine the prostate. As mentioned, it's typically in the back part of the gland where we can feel this with a rectal examination and diagnose that or raise suspicion of that. Presently, the next step is to get an MRI scan, uh, which is a, an excellent tool to firstly look at the risk of cancer but also to give us a map and a target to really find where that might be. And that's been a great adjunct in the last 10, 15 years. There are newer tests coming out, but the next step typically is to then have a biopsy if there are concerns for prostate cancer to look at diagnosing it or exclude it. If you're unfortunately diagnosed with prostate cancer, uh, there are a number of different elements that we need to consider because not all cancers are equal. Some are very low grade and we can watch these for a long time, even up to 20, 30 years and they won't cause problems. However, our responsibility is to try and find those that might be more aggressive uh, and in that situation we might do some further tests to establish that if it's just within the prostate or if it's spread beyond. Thereafter, we look at trying to treat your cancer or control it based upon how aggressive it is. And there are many options available to you, all of them available here at St Vincent's Hospital. Those would be surgery, uh, typically robotic surgery to remove the prostate and the tissues around that area. Uh, you can access radiation to treat the primary tumour. And if unfortunately the disease has spread elsewhere, there are a number of new trials available uh, within the Nuclear Medicine Department and the Kinghorn Cancer Centre to treat uh, men with advanced cancers. In looking at survival rates and prognosis for prostate cancer, the news is really improving and has improved over the last five to 10 years. If you have localized disease just within the prostate, your five and 10 year survival is well above 90, 95%. However, there are nuances to that. With advanced disease, 
increasingly we're using targeted and tailored treatments where this is becoming a chronic disease and hopefully you have a really good long-term prognosis of at least 10 years.